I actually got hit by a roadside bomb in Baghdad, Iraq. Unfortunately, when it went off, I lost both my legs. My weapon exploded in my hand and I actually lost my thumb and my pinky in the palm of my hand. At the time when I received the phone call, he told me that um, Rennell had only lost one leg. He told me that um, he had been severely injured. We went to the hospital in Baghdad, and from there we uh, got medevaced out. When I first reunited with him, we were at Walter Reed. I flew out there to Walter Reed. I remember him when I first seen him. I asked him, I said, do you know who I am? And he said, yeah, you're my wife, Cynthia. And then I remember him, he was telling me, he was like, look. And I was like, look at what? And he was like, look, I don't have any legs. I was on Ward 57 at Walter Reed um, for about six months. And then after that six month period, I got transitioned to uh, outpatient status where I was sent to the Fisher House to continue my outpatient uh, rehabilitation. My current living circumstances, I actually have a, a two-story house. It's not handicap accessible. The doors aren't widened. I can't really make it up underneath the counter. Uh, I have a hard time struggling to get into the toilet. The shower is not handicap accessible. I have a transfer tub bench in the shower. It was frustrating uh, because um, before I got injured, I was able to do everything on my own. And then looking after the injuries, I had to pretty much have help doing everything from brushing my teeth to eating to getting in the shower to getting out uh, to getting in the bed all the uh, basic life uh, daily life activities I needed assistance with. The layout and the nature of the new home actually gives me a high sense of independence. You know, I wouldn't have to rely on my son or on my wife to do anything for me. I'll have that independence and be able to cook, clean, bathe on my own. He can just go and go through the garage, jump in his car and take himself to work. Currently right now I'm doing my uh, PhD in healthcare administration. Within the next 30 days I'll be the assistant chief of prosthetics and sensory aids down at the Columbia, South Carolina VA. I think it speaks wonders about uh, homes for our troops and to see that you can serve your country and then come back uh, severely injured and still be taken care of. And I just think that it's great. Um, it's going to make a lot of soldiers able to actually live a better life. And I think being able to function as an individual on your own means a lot to them. And I think that Homes for Our Troop is giving that back to them.